What's up, Storm fans? It is Brian Cook, and tonight we're playing Gift Storm. I actually recorded this video about two weeks ago. You can find that video in the card above. That was Lydia's, aka Sunbird 17's PTQ Toppy list. And at the end of that video, I mentioned how maybe we want to be playing instant speed cantrips. So often consider to play with Discover the Impossible. And I also linked in that video to the, uh, what is it called, Quick Bolts video that I did about fetch lands versus the fetchless mana base and how the math supports fetch lands. James, who recently became a member of the Combo Cabal, so thank you to James Hayek for, you know, supporting this channel. It does mean a lot to me and I appreciate your support. So James is redeeming their perk from the Combo Cabal of a free donation deck every single month. And James wanted to see Gift Storm. So we're playing the updated list today. James submitted this exact 75 and we're gonna run it. So this deck list was really powerful, I'll say that. But I was really uh, impressed by Discover the Impossible. I went in expecting this card to not be very good and it just blew away my expectations. Uh, so there's some similar cards like Pieces of the Puzzle, for example, which you can find in our sideboard is a similar enough card. There's also Peer Through Depths, which is a card this deck used to play back in the day. And then there's cards like Slendy Vision, which have I have always thought were kind of crappy, if I'm being honest. Well, the problem with all of these cards is that none of them get your enablers. So Goblin Electromancer or Baral Chief of Compliance. Discover the Impossible is the first card that can get one of these enabler creatures. And that really stood out to me in that league. So we're gonna run it back today and hopefully crush. Uh, if you're interested in a more in-depth deck tech, I would definitely go check out that previous video. But for the most part, this deck list is pretty stock. So we're gonna, just gonna run this today. If you have questions, put those down below. I do my best to answer everything. But for now, let's hop on in and play match number one. I'll see you there. Let's see if we can crush. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. That said, there's no better way of showing your support than becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks and we get to keep making combo content. The perks get better and better each level you go up. They also stack. To start off with our Storm Fan tier, you unlock our private member section of our Discord, which comes with a highlighted user profile and then some awesome badges and emotes for YouTube. Looking for a Cyborg help? Become a Stormtrooper, our middle tier, for two Cyborg guides of your deck choice every single month, on top of 50% off donation decks. Did we mention you also get 10% off merchandise from our shop? With our top tier, the Combo Cabal, you get a free donation deck every single month, 15% off merchandise from our shop, early access to private deck lists, and the most valuable perk in my opinion, videos early. That's right, you heard it, early access to all videos. Videos. But maybe Sweet Perk Secret Deck List Early Access to Videos isn't for you, but you'd still like to show your appreciation. Make sure to check out theepicstorm.com slash shop for card singles and storm swag. Please don't forget to use your membership discounts. Finally, if you want to see your combo deck here on this very YouTube channel, make sure to visit theepicstorm.com slash donation decks, where all you have to do is attach your TXT file and pick a donation tier. With our epic tier, you can even join me in a video to showcase your bold brew in person and explain the ins and outs of your strategy. Card availability won't be an issue due to our new sponsor, Card Hoarder. With Card Hoarder, renting is super easy. If you're looking to get into Magic Online, Line, there isn't a better, more affordable solution than Card Hoarder. Fun fact, you can rent the Epic Storm for seven tickets a week, which is just a great deal. There are many ways you can support us. Just pick whatever is best for you. In the meantime, let's play some magic. Match number one, we're on the draw. This hand is terrific. We're definitely going to keep this. Okay, we're facing the username healthcare.gov, which is cute. And it looks like we're facing Tron. I do like my Tron matchup for the most part. On the draw though, they can play a turn three Karn, which is obviously not great for us, but that was a good draw. Okay, so we're just gonna pass here and hold up Opt. I would expect that they play land here. Do they not draw land number two? Really? Okay. I don't know if this was a keep. Maybe I'm wrong. This seems like a sketchy seven. We're gonna bottom the discover here. 
Island, okay. So land three actually wasn't bad. All right, so we just have an easy peasy turn three win as long as we get to untap here. There's our goblin. Dismember. There it is, that member. Okay. And there's the second land, and they have map active. Draw. Another gifts. Okay, we're just gonna go for it here. Burl. Ritual. Manamorphos. Hoping to get a little bit lucky on this draw. Ottawar is not it. Okay. Let's cast gifts. Hope that we get a little bit lucky. So this is not a deterministic win at the moment. I was really hoping to draw a ritual off this Manamorphos. Do a two they give us. And they gave us a winning uh, ritual pile. Okay. If they just gave us ritual past in flames, we couldn't win, or even Manamorphos past in flames. Instead, it looks like we're just going to get to do our thing here. And our opponent concedes. That was a little bit of a, a gift. I'll say that. Do we even sideboard? So we could bring in a braid for like a relic or something, but I don't know if we even really want to board here. Like one a braid seems sort of free, but I don't know. Maybe you take out a Discover? I mean, Discover's pretty good at stopping those giant spells and digs for Remand, and Remand is like, this is one of its best matchups. So I'm not sure if you actually want to take out Discover. Should it be Wish? Wish is, like, you want action spells too. Honestly, I think the answer might be to not side in a Braid. We have two Ish, we have two Atawara, that might be enough. Game two on the draw against Tron. This is a hand. Uh, I think I'm actually going to try this out. We'll be the ones keeping sketchy seven card hands with one lance this game. Opponent with a very fast mulligan to five. That said, don't feel bad for our opponent. This is what Tron does. They just mulligan to, you know, Tron plus Karn. That's what their deck does. They're on four cards now. All right, it looks like they've kept four. There's this tower and a relic, sure. We have this wish, which means we can just empty them. Brawl, okay, we still need to find land number two. There's this saga, so this might actually be Eldrazi Tron. Although it's sort of weird for Eldrazi Tron to have relic, but I, I, I at least I've never seen uh, saga in classic you know, mono green Tron. It might be a newer thing that I'm just unfamiliar with. Okay, Stevens will follow the 17 and play this consider looking for land number two. We'll get rid of the opt. Not land two. Draw. That's a bummer. Okay, so we're the ones getting punished this game. I'm just going to discard the gifts. We're not going to need that. All right, they're on two cards. Come on, deck me land. Oh, you're killing me. Okay. There's a construct. Remove, consider. We're just going to discard a remand here. All right, Saga's up to three. Interesting that they're not making a construct. So they get the map. Now they have five mana. Power plant. Yeah, okay, so this is Aldrazi Tron. So we'll take seven down to 12. Draw. Okay, our window just closed. That was unfortunate. All right, I got punished, and we lost to a mulligan to four. So we're facing Eldrazi Tron. I think that means we probably want this uh, a braid. I thought that perhaps that they were the uh, the classic amount of green Tron. 
maybe we want the pieces then. Sort out this gifts. Um, 63. I wonder if we even want Remand versus Eldrazi Tron. It's a lot of action spells. Maybe we want like two Remand. I definitely don't want the full four. Uh, because if you fall behind, Remand is not very good. Also, we're at 19, like, we're running 19 lands in this build. That's actually one more than I typically play. So, uh, not finding land number two in that game was a little bit unlucky. Opponent with a fast mulligan once again. Down to five. Okay, we're just going to play turn one Pluto Delta and thin our deck a little bit. Eldrazi Temple. All right, we're going to play a turn one cantrip here. I don't know if it really matters which one you select. Consider, we're gonna mill a land, we don't need those. All right, we, we need a payoff here. That is a payoff. We're just gonna play the Electromancer and pass. All right, no dismember, that's a good sign. There's a Saga. They're passing. That's a little shocking. Land. Let's get in there. I can't help but wonder if they have like a warping whale here. Ritual. Let's try pieces. I'm not convinced this will resolve. And it does. So we actually have a win with gifts so if our opponent has nothing. Um... Are we really supposed to just say that our opponent has nothing? I can hold up this remand though. But I think that's the play here. We just pass, don't cast the gifts and given, and then next turn we can uh, try to win with remand back up. Had I known that we were going to pass the turn, I wouldn't have burned the ritual. But I think by not playing the ritual into pieces of the puzzle, you close off a lot of winning lines. And there's just no reason to do that to yourself. So worst possible scenario about uh, the line that I took here is Cavern of Souls into Thought Not Seer is a line that would take our gifts and given. But I think it's just better to have Remand up. Okay, so they have Dismember. Um, I think I'm going to Remand that. And now we make them pay for more life. Okay. Draw. That should do it. Brawl. Ritual. They don't have Warping Whale up. Ritual. Gives and given targeting you. The standard pile should get the job done here, so we're just going to do that. Manamorphos, and then a ritual. And then the standard pile being Pyretic Ritual, Desperate Ritual, Manamorphos, and Past in Flames. When you have three mana floating, it is deterministic as long as you don't mess it up. And they gave us a pair of rituals again. So I'm going to hold priority here and flashback the past in flames. That way they can't respond with like a surgical or something in response to this ritual. All right, past in flames now resolves. And uh, let's cast some cards. And Amorphos will add two blue. To an island. All the rituals. Gifts targeting the opponent. Wish. Grape shot. Past in flames. And. Manamorphos. I'm just trying to play around worst possible outcome here. We do have Remand already in the graveyard. And our opponent has conceded. Okay, so that was match number one. We have defeated Eldrazi Tron, and we are 1-0. and oh. 
If you haven't joined them already, I would recommend opening up our description down below and joining our seven social media networks. They're each great in their own way, but I would strongly suggest joining our Discord server. In there, you will find others just like you looking to improve their Storm game and grow as a combo community. If you're a member of our YouTube channel, you should sync your account to Discord to unlock our private member section that has the latest and greatest deck lists, concepts, and much, much more. Let's get back to comboing out. Welcome to match number two on the play. Keep. All right, we're just going to start off on an island to pass the turn. And their end step will cast Consider. Next turn we hold open Remand. We are in need of red mana. Consider. We don't need that, but it's a lovely card to mill, that's for sure. And we drew a red mana. Hello, Brawl. I think I'm going to hold open uh, the Remand here and not play the Brawl. And then next turn I can play Brawl into Remand. Ketria Trium, okay. So, I don't know if that's still the game plan any longer, after seeing what our opponent's plays were. I think it just might be Island Pass. Okay. Another Brawl. Okay, I'm going to jam Brawl now that we have two of them. Brawl on the battlefield. I wouldn't be surprised if this was like a Teferi. Uh, it could be Shardless. Um, or, well, Rug Cascade, whatever you would like to call it. Um, but there's a chance that it was four color, and now I think it's just the Cascade deck. And it is. Okay, so all they had was a bounce there. Good sign. Burl. They're F6. I'm going to try to do something here. Manamorphose. Be red, blue. So right now I have five mana, two mana, so I can wish into empty, but empty is like not that impressive here. So I think I'm going to opt. And let's put that on the bottom. Ding. All right, they're at 16. Let's flash back this past in flames. Desperate ritual. Pyretic Ritual. I love games like this where it's not deterministic and you can sort of just do your thing. Wow, another ritual. So good. Okay, uh, let's play Opt. I can go on the bottom. We don't even need that gifts. Uh, consider. I can go to the graveyard. Hello, Ritual. It's from 13. It's from 14. So, gifts into Grape Shot's lethal. In theory, you could do Grape Shot Remand, but if for some reason they've been sitting on a force this entire game, you would lose. And I just don't think that's necessary. Okay, so we'll do Wish. Cast in Flames. Ritual Grape Shot. It doesn't really matter what you do here, if I'm being honest, because we have the Grape Shot over in Exile that we can play off of Wish. And the opponent concedes, so that's game number one over Rug Cascade, or Shardless Rug, whatever you'd like to call it, whatever your heart desires. They are a 4x Force of Negation and Endurance deck, so post worker games are actually pretty tough. So we're definitely going to want these pieces. We want Mystical Disputes. I think Relay is fine, uh, but that does put us up to 67. So I think you can board down on two copies of uh, Gifts and Given, maybe even board out of Past in Flames. And then you're four cards over. It's tough. Um, I don't think Remand is that great here. It does Remand the uh, Suspend spells and put them back to their hand, but it doesn't actually answer Endurance or Force of Vigor that well. So that's sort of a bummer. Um, there's also like the possibility that you're not supposed to board in all these effects and you just like send two of them back like this. So you have one main deck relay, 
two pieces and then these are wish targets. Uh, that's a possibility. And I do think you might be able to shave on a couple cantrips. Actually, maybe you're just supposed to take out Electromancers. They have a bunch of two damage spells in this deck. That might actually be the play. And then let's bring back in a Past in Flames. Yeah, I think that's the that's what we do here. They have Dead Gone, Fire Ice. Uh, some lists I've even seen play the uh, Prismari command. I mean, it's not super common, but I've definitely seen it. So I don't love Electromancer here. We're going to keep this. Leyline of Sanctity. So our answer to that is already in our hand, Atawara, but that's the only uh, answer we have to Atawara because there's no bounce spells. So it's also, I'd like to point out, we don't have to answer this. It does shut off uh, Gifts and Given, by the way, because Gifts and Given targets an opponent, but we can just empty the opponent with this wish. The downside would be if they happen to have an answer. Okay, and it looks like they're just passing the turn. I'm not going to fetch because I don't want to turn on their ice. And I have to play a land here. Pass, so they can ice our island on the end step. And here it is. I needed another fetch land there. All right, they have the third land. You have the cascade spell. All right, I'm going to search up a red source here. All right, they have five cards. Draw. I'm going to hang on to the Ottawara. There's the Violent Outburst. Crashing Footfalls. So if they have a force, they can protect this. But I'm going to remand the Footfalls. And it resolves. That's pretty sweet. So we drew land number four, which means we can use Ottawara to bounce this Ley Line. And they're suspending footfalls the hard way. All right, let's uh, search up a land here. I think I'm going to get a shock land. Draw. And then ouch. Pass the turn. So now we're representing Discover or Atawara. And I like that this build that uh, we're playing tonight, it plays a little more instant speed. So you have Atawaras, you have Discovers, you have these seven instant cantrips. When more of your deck is instant speed, it opens up uh, options. Where Serum Visions actually plays pretty awkwardly with Remand and Atawara and Discover and all of those. So I do like more instant speed options because it keeps your options open. And that usually helps winning. Are casting a brazen borrower you got it okay they're going up to four cards now back down to three we're going to go to 13 life and we're going to use this Ottawara here and let's get rid of the ley line so they are at four cards, but one of them is a useless ley line. Draw. Brawl. I think I'm just going to play pieces here. It's a little awkward because we actually want to land. Double remand. Hmm. I think one remand would be enough. Actually, double remand is probably what we want here, and I'll just discard the past in flames. Or the discover. One of the two. I guess the downside of discovering pa or discarding past in flames is endurance would hurt a lot more. Okay. The reason I'm okay with discarding the past in flames, I, I know that I just talked about endurance, but we have wish, and I think that takes a lot of the pressure off of um past in flames falling to 10 life our opponent has five cards one of which is a ley line draw all right land was very good all right let's start off with that brawl the chief of compliance you must comply ritual they know that we have double remand and we'll remand here. 
Brawl gets a trigger. Yes. Discard the Spire Bluff Canal. Ritual. And we will remand again. Okay. Loot. Get rid of that Brawl. It's pretty good. Ritual. Ooh, they're F6. Blue, blue. Another Manamorphos. They're at 16. We're a little bit away from Natural Storm. Um, I don't have any counter magic in the board, but I have a feeling that they would have used... I don't know. I'm just going to try Past in Flames here and it resolved. If they had Endurance, we had Wish and a Relay, so I wasn't overly concerned, but this just appears to be a win now. Okay, things are going very well for the home team. Okay, Metamorphos again, Storm 15. Ooh, Grape Shot. Aya. I'll eat you, opponent. I'll eat you. And that's the match. So admittedly, I went to go F6 and my computer lagged a little bit. I was like, I guess I shouldn't F6. Like, there's a pause here. Like, I don't, like, the, our opponent's not playing it. Like, don't get me wrong. But if for some reason they had a Mind Break Trap, I had the answer or a Remand. Uh, remand wouldn't have worked on a Mind Break, but I could, re I could have returned the original Grape Shot. Uh, so there's no reason to hit F6 there. I was just being lazy. And I'm sure a bunch of you love leaving comments like, this deck doesn't play that card. Sure, and I understand that, but it's literally free to just not be lazy and keep your options open. That's my point here. But thank you for watching so far. We're 2-0. Let's see if we can get the next three. Playing your favorite combo deck and paper just got so much easier with the Epic Storm Mini Token Pack. You can pick one up at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $13. It includes 64 double-sided mini tokens, that's 128 tokens total, and they include 10 black, 10 blue, 10 red, 5 green, 5 white, 3 colorless, 20 storm counters. That means that you can count your way all the way up to 20 for Grape Shot, everyone's favorite storm wind condition. A Galvanic Relay Exile Indicator, 4 treasure tokens for Strike It Rich, and then 10 monk tokens for our vintage friends. It also has Slime Time Live! Eve Progenitor Ooze Tokens with the Power Toughness already built in to make playing in paper so much easier. No fumbling around with dice. We've got you covered. Make sure to go grab those if you're playing Modern. And then Squirrels vs. Goblins, Chatterstorm vs. Empty the Warrens, the Battle of the Ages. You definitely need 20 Squirrel Tokens and 20 Goblin Tokens. You're going to love this mini token pack, I promise. And once again, you can grab that at theepicstorm.com slash shop. Match three on the draw. This seems like a reasonable hand. Let's try it out. Sanctum, so that likely means living end, I think. We'll play the turn and pass. All right, so no, no cycling creatures if it was living end. What are you doing over there? Okay, 17, opt. Let's bottom that. We don't really need the other discover here. Wish. What we would like is an enabler. That's for sure. I guess I can play out the other turn here, thin a little bit. I know I just bottomed a card with opt. It's fine. Ah, uh, I was correct. It is living end. Well, into Sky Turtle. Grief. I'm going to remand that. Hope that our opponent doesn't have another black card in hand. Living End admittedly doesn't play that many black cards. But it looks like they're going to Cascade here. Violent Outburst, okay. So they will be putting... What is that? 13 power? 13 power into play. I couldn't remember if this was a 5-5 five, five or a 7-7. Seven, seven. Another Ritual. So this isn't bad, but we do need um, 
a creature in order to win this. At least right now. I can try to win without it, but we know that this deck plays for Force and Negation in the main deck, so having a creature would really go a long way. And hopefully this Discover the Impossible can help with that. We're at three. Another Grief. Okay, I'm just going to let the Grief happen. Let's see what they select. I think the correct pick is actually Discover the Impossible, but let's see what they do. Like, you could take Past and Flames or even Wish, but I don't think those are the correct choices. And they also agree on Discover. Okay. So we're looking to hit a creature for a draw step. And we did not. We drew an island. Um, I mean, we, we have to do something here, so we might as well cast some rituals. Okay. Ritual. Cast in Flames floating a single red. This is a pretty juicy force target. Yeah, they got us. Okay. If we drew into a creature, we'd have the wishes back up, but unfortunately that did not happen. Oh well. All right, so game number two. We definitely want these Mystical Disputes. I wonder what you take out. I wonder if it's just like ops. Like everything seems so crucial to this deck. I don't know actually like what you would take out here. Like Grape Shot's actually kind of stinky in this matchup. You could always like just say I have to cast Wish to win every game. That's not the worst. I guess we can try this. Okay, game two. Seems fine. Included Delton past the turn. Yeah, that's a grief. Remand down. I think mean, that's actually fine. Like, we're not holding open Remand this game, so that's actually not the end of the world. Because, like, we're always going to be... I'm mean, definitely going to mill this past in flames. Always going to be playing out creatures, so like I don't think that's actually like that crucial. Play the beater, Goblin Electromancer. I guess maybe I was supposed to play Ottawara. I don't know, or not Ottawara, Brawl, because Brawl would make Ottawara one cheaper, and you don't want to play both. I think because you open yourself up into the trap of losing to Living End that way. All right, draw. Another land. A little flooded. Because right now we could have a Brawl in play and just have like Ottawara up. I think we just pass. Cycle the Striped Riverwinder. Maybe I'm supposed to play it out regardless though. Because they have a Grief in hand, which means that if they living in, I'm losing the Brawl anyway. Okay, that was a good draw. Get in there. We're at 13. We'll play Brawl and pass. Endurance. I think we let that go. They could have eaten one of my Electromancers and they didn't. Ooh, they want to race. All right, so we go to 13. We'll show them who the aggro deck is. Draw. Discovers one mana here. I think we attack first. Ah, yeah. All right. Discover the impossible for a single mana. That stunk. I guess the bright side is we're not drawing those over the next five turns. Okay, uh, I think we just pass here. Another Endurance. Okay, so that would put me to seven. I think we let that happen. Like, I could remand it. I just don't think it's the correct choice. Okay, so we're going to seven here. 
They're just uh, Simic control, clearly. Urborg, that's a wild one. A little surprised they waited. Like, if you're going to play this, why not just um, run the filter land? All right, attempt to living end. We're going to remand it, and then uh, this feels like a mystical dispute. And now I can ritual in response and pay and then get our brawl trigger. Yes. Remand the living end. So we draw a card off the remand and then we get the brawl trigger. Yes. A lot of error in our deck. Okay. Can I have an action spell? Draw. That's an action spell. Target them. We know that one of their three cards in hand is a living end. Fast in Flames, Manamorphose, Wish, and a Ritual. I should probably get the, uh, the Desperate Ritual. All right, let's do it like this. And they gave us the two action spells. Little do they know, my hand is all Rituals. We'll play the Ottawa right here. Oh, our opponent just concedes. Okay. Had a little bit of a lag there. I'm just going to resubmit, I think. Keep, 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 keep. Great hand. Turn one Spire Bluff. All right, we're going to thin our deck a little bit with the Scalding Tarn. Cycles the Curator of Mysteries. Okay, we're going to cast an instep step Consider. I'll go to 17 life, that's fine. Um, I think I actually want the Ritual. Draw. And we'll pass. I'm not going to play Brawl under their own teachings here. And we want to represent Remand. They cycle Riverwinder. Breeding pool and then another cycler. Okay. Ooh, the grief here is very, very, very good. Not looking good for the home team. They took Manamorphose. I thought there was a chance they would do that because it takes away the ability to have me to cycle into uh, Remand, which is one of the few ways that I could actually uh, win this game. That's a living end. Let's see what they do here with the grief. It's probably Brawl. It is. So the question is, do we dispute the agent? They have five, eight, and then, I'm sorry, 16 damage. This would actually be lethal. So I think we do counter it. We're just hoping for a miracle. Uh, so a creature here, not a creature. Okay, so we have to pass. Like I said, this their attack step would put us to one. We are at one. Draw. So we can cast the consider or we can go spice desperate ritual ritual pass and flames floating three metamorphose realistically we're not winning this game no matter what the line is but i feel like this line is slightly more likely to win i don't know maybe i should cancel so if i cast consider into a creature i don't know it just doesn't matter. I can go to the graveyard. Okay. That's giving me hope just to make me feel bad when they have it. Ritual. There's no way all four of the cards in their hand are bad. Ritual. Fast in Flames. 
Womp womp. All right, we're two and one. This sucks way too good. Hey, you're still watching. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. If you're looking to make a purchase from Card Hoarder, TCG Player, or Amazon, and are looking to support us, you can open up our description down below, and in there you will find our affiliate links. Those same links are found on the homepage of the Epic Storm, but that's not all. We've included a Card Hoarder button on our website that will load the Epic Storm in your Card Hoarder cart to make life simple for you. Why mulligan when every single opening hand is great? Obviously we're keeping this. We're on the draw once again, and we're gonna see how this goes. Basic planes, Sigurda's aid, so hammer time. This is definitely a matchup where I would have preferred to open up on one of our seven creatures. All right, Steam Vents and Pass. Assuming that we don't draw the creature on turn two, I think I'm pressured into cycling Manamorphose. So they just have a turn three win. Steel Shaper's Gift. Most people don't even play that card anymore. So all our opponent needs now, I mean, I guess they just cast the hammer and attack twice. I was thinking that they'd put it on the Nexus, but by playing it this turn on the Mem Knight, you don't even have to wait. So I need to draw a creature here. And then if I draw a creature here, we could actually try for a turn two win. Creature? Oh my. It's happening. The sickening. It's happening. All right, Manamorphose. Blue, red. All right, that was not a good draw. Ritual. All right, if we spike a ritual on this draw, it's a win. Blue, red. Ah, uh, I guess I could have done blue, blue. Gifts targeting them. I think we just have to hope that they mess up the gifts pile. Okay. Gifts and given. So th there's a chance here. If we draw a ritual off the Manamorphose, it's a win. Pretty unlikely at this point because we've used one, two, three, four. So we have four rituals left in the deck. We'll do blue, red. Bummer. Ah. A lot of lands this uh, turn. So I think we cast the Consider. Uh, ritual actually wouldn't do it here, but if we drew Manamorphose into Ritual, that would. We have to mill the... Um, in theory, I can block and then next turn play Brawl. I think I actually keep this. All right, pass the turn. So think long term here. We have to block this turn with Block Chamancer. Next turn we block with the Brawl. Turn after that we Ottawara the Mem Knight. That's the game plan. Okay. And a Stone Forge. So we're actually just dead here. Um, we're dead unless we draw Manamorphose into Ritual. Draw. That's not going to do it. Okay, I passed the turn. Being on the draw actually lost us this game. All right, block the Mem Knight, make them cast it. Okay, so we are going to game number two. So close to your turn to win there. All right, we definitely want Lightning Bolt. I don't think that this is a Remand matchup whatsoever. So let's get those out of the deck, and I think we can bring in the Abraid. Game two, we're on the play. So this hand is both missing land number two and a creature. I think you just have to mulligan this. Much better. This is just a turn three win. Discover the impossible will be the card that we put on the bottom of our library. That is certainly possible. All right, we're keeping this. Like I said, put Discover on the bottom of the library. Our opponent also took a mulligan. Okay, game two is beginning finally. We're going to play the Steam that's tapped and pass the turn. Opponent on five to our six. 
that is initial cards in hand. Turn one Ink Moth. Hammer. Okay. Memnite. They must be going for like a metal craft line. All right, we're just gonna play the brawl and pass. There's a saga. Time to peanut butter and jam. Ritual. Ritual. Manamorphose. Blue blue. Gifts and given. We we'll grab past in flames, ritual, morphos, and ritual. Okay, ritual, ritual. Flashback the past in flames. Let's play some more spells here. Okay, storms eleven, manamorphos, blue blue. Manamorphose, blue blue. Why not play a goblin? Gifts and given. Whoops, didn't mean to click on blue there. It's fine. Fast in flames. Grape shot. Wish. And discover. Why not? Storm is 15 at the moment. Okay, game three coming up. I think we're just going to resubmit our uh, 75 from game number two. Game three, our opponent has kept seven. So we have a bolt, which is great in this matchup, but the rest of our hand is just super clunky. Unfortunately, we just have to ship that. This is so much better here. Uh, I think you're actually supposed to bottom the wish. Planes. I love this mirrored in planes. Look at that. Those nice metallic blades of grass. So guard is a memnite. That's scary. Pass the turn. We have not shown them lightning bolt yet, so I'm sort of hoping that we get to blow them out here. I will get crushed to death by double hammer. I'm hoping that doesn't happen. Why did I talk? Please don't do what well, please don't do it to me. Okay. No double hammer. Thank you. <laughs> like you could have avoided double hammer by bolting on your main phase, but you don't really want to play the bolt in your main phase, at least in my opinion. Brawl. Because then like they're still sitting on a hammer, right? So that's not really a play you want to make. Ooh, core outfitter. Okay. So they will have a 12-12 here. Two cards left in hand. Draw. Ritual? Not a ritual. Okay, so... I think we want to try to go for it here. There's a chance that I'm going to cast Discover the Impossible looking for a ritual. They have Path. Silence! Um... I'm going to cast Discover here. And we're going to select a Braid. And then cast it to destroy the hammer. Boom! <laughs> yes! That worked out nicely. Alright. And now we have to pass the turn. Opponent has one card in hand. There's no chance in a blocking with the Brawl because Brawl dying is so bad for us that you just don't want that to ever happen. So if your opponent happens to have a random janky equipment in their hand, um, like you could just get really, really punished. So I know even if it's like Colossus Hammer, it's not lethal. There's no reason to block. So we'll gladly take two here. Yeah, like exactly. So, like, there's no reason to ever block with Brawl. Sort of Fire Ice. Get out of here. Okay, so we need to draw Ritual. Draw Land. Okay, um... So, I could just cast Gifts. I think I'm going to play Consider here, hoping to spike. 
So if I go ritual, we're actually still one mana short. Okay, I think I'm going to hope to get a little bit lucky here. All right, gifts and given. Because based on our opponent's play pattern from the previous game, they gave us Manamorphose, uh, Pass and Flames, and there's still a shot at winning if they do that. Uh, just trying to think through all of our options here. All right, so let's get Ritual, Past in Flames, and this Ritual. So if they give me Ritual, Past in Flames, it's a win, so they have to give me Manamorphose, Past in Flames. Okay, so they did what we expected, and now there's a chance for me to spike here. Red, blue. Ding! Play to your outs. Okay, this should be pretty easy peasy from here. All the spells. Blue, blue. Play Electromancer, why not? Manamorphose. Blue, blue. Let's destroy that sword, because I can. Lightning Bolt, the core outfitter, teach it a lesson. Let's cast this uh, Discover. And let's take the Morphos. Cast for free. Blue, blue. Opt Storm 18. I think our opponent had enough, and they did. All right, three and one, one round left to go. That was a really, really fun match. That was a good one. Let's see if match number five can be just as sweet. If you're looking for more great Magic the Gathering content, definitely check out the Eternal Glory podcast. It is myself, Brian Cook, alongside Brian Koval and Phil Gallagher. We primarily discuss Legacy. That said, a lot of what we talk about transcends all formats. We're available on all major podcast platforms. The fifth and final match. We're on the play. Let's get this 4-1. Gigantha. I think we try this. Like, it seems reasonable. There's a chance that Remand isn't good here, but it's usually fine against Gigantha decks in my experience. Turn one canal and pass the turn. Void Crypt into Channeler. All right, so it's... Um, I guess it could be a couple different things. Gifts and Given. We're just so far away from that being good, but let's keep it. Draw. Okay, so we need to find... I guess, like, it's a line in theory that we could Desperate Ritual into Gifts, but that's not really a line I want to take. Alright, so we're going to 19. There's Passing. I'm fine with that. Draw. Wish. It's delightful. This could just be Shadow. Alright, so we're going to 18 here. And it's definitely Shadow. I think I'm going to Remand. I would just like to cycle these. Like, I can't have triple Remand clogging up my hand the entire game. And if they recast it, that's taking them off of um, Drown in the Lock. All right, so they're tapped out. Uh, Baral would be insane here. Or Electromancer, because we could clear all three of them. Did not happen. I just think we cast Gifts while they're tapped out. Actually, that's not the place so that I'm dead to dress down. Okay, never mind. I have to pass here. Thought sees. So. I guess if we remand it twice, they'd have the steam vents up in the end. And I'll remand one more time. 
I don't love her man in this man. Like, it's so bad when all of your opponent's spells cost one. Alright, so they're tapping out here. They're going to go to eight. It's possible that we could win off the wish somehow. What we really need to draw into is a creature. We're 25% of the way through our deck and haven't found one of our seven creatures. They took the ritual. That's interesting. Okay, so... Actually, that might have been the correct pick. Do another ritual. Right, e, consider... Definitely don't want that. Does that do anything? I don't think it does. I think we're just short. So I can play Ritual Wish into something that costs one. Uh, but it's still not enough storm count. Oddly enough, if they took the gifts and given, this would have been a win. Ritual Wish Grape Shot's only five. I think they have me here. Bummer. Good decision taking the Ritual. All right, we're going to get these out of our deck. I really don't like Remand here. Let's get rid of the Discovers. Lightning Bolt makes a lot of sense to me. We definitely want the other Grape Shot. Um, and I know that it seems weird saying that I want to bring in both Grape Shots, but it, the easiest way of beating Shadow is just having a bunch of Burn Spells in your deck. Uh, I don't know if we actually want Galvanic Relay or not. The odd part about boarding in Grape Shot is that if they get somehow surgical, you have to win with like an empty or bolts. It's probably fine though. All right, I'm going to try this out. Game two versus Death Shadow. All right, we made the joke about not mulliganing. We're definitely not keeping that. And here we are. I think that we keep this and we just bottom the grape shot. Okay, Steam Vents Pass. Bloodstained Mire. Into Ragavan. Okay. So we have two decisions here. We can either Brawl and hope to be able to block, or we can just Bolt plus Opt. And I'm just going to go for the bigger play. I'm going to play out Brawl here and hope that your opponent, our opponent just doesn't have removal. Blood Crypt. Channeler. All right, so no removal, but they are casting Thoughtseize. Manamorphose down. It's an interesting choice, because if I draw a Ritual here, it's possible that we win. Opt. Let's keep the land. I think we just passed the turn. Land number three. Another thought sees. I think we just let that go. Like you could bolt something here. I just don't see the value in doing that. And they decided to take the lightning bolt. Okay. Ah, good line by them, because now their Ragavan is unleashed. Yeah, and I think we just lost this. All right, so we're taking five down to 14, and our hand is just way too slow. And they had another Brawl. That's a bummer. Okay. Draw. Cycle, I suppose. Manamorphose. Blue red. I guess we can cast gifts. Target them. Ritual. Past in flames. Ritual. And then I wonder if we get a bolt to slow them down, maybe? But getting another Mana Morphos here doesn't actually help us at all. Alright, Pass some Flames plus Lightning Bolt. I'm not surprised by that. Now we take five more, going to eight. 
Opponent has three cards in hand. Gigantha to hand. Yikes. Big Elk coming down. Alright, let's kill the Ragavan past the turn. So far away from winning this. Yep. You have a Lightning Bolt and my Misery. Pieces. Okay. It's pretty good for them. That hurts. I won't lie. Spell Pierce Expressive Iteration. Okay. I'm going to call it. So this was a league where we went three and two, which is fine. Like, honestly, that's what I would expect out of Gift Storm. I'm not too upset about that. Uh, do I like the changes that uh, James made? I think that this is what I would play if I was to play Gift Storm, or at least close to it. Uh, I'd probably run a slightly different mana base. I tend to like one less Steam Vents plus one Fetch, and then splitting my Fetches. Uh, and I probably wouldn't run the Snow Covered Island, just because when you're running Fetch Lands, you always have four unique lands to Fetch for, so you don't have to split your basics like this. But I think the Cantrip Suite makes sense. I'd probably play one less Remand and run one of something else. I feel like four Remand is a lot, even with your Discover the Impossible deck. Uh, I just... I'm not in love with four remand. The card can be a little clunky. I'd probably play an eighth cantrip. And I'm not sure about the sideboard, if I'm being honest. Um, I just feel like relay isn't that good, but maybe I'm not using the card to its full potential. If you have any suggestions or feedback on that, feel free to let me know. But James, thank you for being a member of the uh, can talk of the combo cabal. There we go. And uh, I do appreciate you and your support to this channel. Everyone, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Have a great day. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.